Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jane Hamill. Let's talk about your website. This episode is for if you sell physical products. One of my clients the other day, we were on a call and she's like, oh, I didn't get time to ask you about what are the things that I should work on for my website. And it's pretty advanced business. She sells a good amount. And I was like, I'll make you a quick video of like five minute website audit that you can do on yourself. Okay. Now there's a lot of things you can do, including check your site speed, all the, the, the things like that. But for my purposes with my clients, these are the three things that I'm suggesting that you can do in about five minutes to just tidy up your site. Okay. Number one is the three second rule. Is it clear what you sell and who it's for in the first three seconds of somebody landing on your site? Here's how you find out. So here's the problem. <laughs> if you go to your site and you look at it within like 10.8 milliseconds, you know what you do, but that's not the user experience. So what I want you to do is to get a volunteer, somebody who knows nothing about your business. They do not have to be in your ideal customer. They don't have to be in that niche. They don't have to understand like, you know, whatever. If you sell glass cases, they don't have to wear eyeglasses. It doesn't matter. Get your neighbor, your grandpa, your, you know, someone you work with. It doesn't matter. Ask them to go to your site. Ideally it's on mobile because most traffic is coming from mobile. And you are looking over their shoulder as they open up your website. Now, within three seconds, I want you to just ask them, what do we sell? What does this site sell? And see if they know. And then give them a minute or half a minute, whatever, a small, small amount of time and say, who is it for? What do you sell? Who is it for? Does the person who's doing the review, oops. Yes, I know. I have a client in five minutes. Um, does the person who's looking at your site understand within three seconds, what is it that you sell and who it's for? Okay. In a basic way, that's the absolute number one thing I would do. Now then let them go ahead and look at your site, click on things, you know, listen to their questions, be a fly on the wall while they use your site. Do not answer their questions. Do not tell them where to click. Do not say, oh, no, no, go there. No, up there. Oh, it's for this. Don't explain anything. Just listen, zipit.com, <laughs> write down the questions they ask, the issues they have, the problems they have, you know, the clunkiness, any friction they have with trying to get to understand what it is and try to buy something, okay? The next thing you want to check on your site is, is it three clicks to the buy? So the first one is the three second rule. The second one is three clicks to the buy. When somebody goes to your site, if you have an e-commerce site, okay, if you're selling physical products online, is it three clicks until they can make a purchase? Do they have to click here and then go here and then go here and then over there and oops, which part? Now, most sites, this is a guideline, not a rule. Well, maybe it's a rule. Most sites, three clicks to the buy is what you need. Not more, I don't know, less maybe but definitely not more. Now, if you do customization or high-end customizable pieces or something that's monogrammed, there's exceptions to this rule, but check to see, is your site three clicks to the buy or is the navigation all messed up? And then the third thing to check, and this I really do think can be all be done in five minutes, is do you have a pop-up that comes up within three to seven seconds? Now, everybody says something different, I actually just checked one of the people I follow a lot, Ezra Firestone. Uh, he owns a bunch of brands. One of them, Boom by Cindy Joseph. I believe another one is called Overtone Hair Color. Um, and it looked like on Boom, it was definitely three seconds when his uh, pop-up came up on mobile. I sort of lead, lean more towards seven seconds, but I don't. I think you can just you can Google up what's the best practice right now or you can just decide what you want to do. So do you have a pop-up to get the email opt-in? I'm going to say like probably within seven seconds. Now you may have a strategy that you want it in 10 seconds. Or you want an exit intent pop-up or whatever. Fine. But for most of you, how, you know, what is your pop-up? Is it clear? Is it simple? Is it simple? And does it come up pretty quickly? 
Um, three seconds seems a little fast to me because they don't even know what you do yet. And then you're already like, do you want this? Well, I I'm, I'm just looking around. Okay. So those are three things you can do to DIY the five minute website review. Now, guess what? Yeah. I am offering five free website reviews right now. No catch, <laughs> no anything. You can apply. It's totally free. I'm going to choose five businesses. And by the way, the businesses can be different stages. Like some are quite advanced and they're selling, you know, up to a million dollars, $2 million, half a million dollars, $250,000, whatever. Some are pretty much brand new and don't have a lot of traffic yet. Whatever. I'm looking for different types of entrepreneurs to apply for this free website review. Um, and you can get that at fashionbrainacademy.com slash review. Just fill out the application, put your info in. No business is too small or too big. So don't feel all like, oh, I'm not in the right stage. Like whatever stage you're in, just apply. And I'm here to help we're going to ask you in that application, do you want to focus on like overall clarity of messaging, blogging for SEO, on-site SEO, uh, product pages, you know, whatever, what, whichever section of your site you want me to focus on, that's what we'll do. Cause this would be a mini review. It's not a full website review. And by the way, I'm not a web designer. I'm not a developer. I'm not going to try to get you on first page SEO, Google, I, I, none of those things. I'm a business coach. <laughs> okay. I'm going to look at your site. I'm going to choose five businesses to give you some help with your website. Okay. But I'm not here to upsell you on a brand new website. So don't worry about that. Okay. Fashionbrainacademy.com slash review. Let's go over the three things we said to, for your own five minute review that you can do yourself. Number one, the three second rule. Do people understand what do you sell and who it's for? Get a volunteer to test your site at least one, two, three people sit over their shoulder, listen to them, write down their questions. Don't interrupt them. Number three, is your navigation three clicks to the buy? Oh, sorry. That's number two. And number three, is your pop-up clear and working properly within yeah, maybe three to seven seconds could be a lot more. Those are the three things you can check. You should probably be able to do that in about five minutes. Go do it. Don't put this off. It's not that hard. Don't be scared of the results. If you notice people don't understand what you do, you tweak your messaging. No problem. If it's not three clicks to the buy, you tweak that. No problem. We can't boil the ocean. You can't fix everything all at once. So just start with these three things and enjoy the process, okay? Because the clearer you are and what, what you do and who it's for and why they would care, the clearer the customer, the prospect is going to be when they come to your site. Have an awesome day, guys. And if you want to apply for that free website review, um, I am down. Check the show notes uh, or the, the description if it's on YouTube, whatever. Have a great day. Bye.